Hey, what's going on guys? XS Magical Team Eternal, and today I'm going to show you how to install KDE 4.9 in your Ubuntu installation. Um, if you do not want to do this, you can always download Kubuntu, but uh, if you want to have both desktops, you can install Ubuntu and just uh, install KDE on top of that, and you can have two GUI interfaces, which is really sweet. So it's kind of like having two operating systems, if you want to think like that, in one. Uh, KDE is more like Windows. And Ubuntu, well, it's more like, I don't know, Mac, OS X, stuff like that, you know. So they're, they're kind of different. Um, basically, this is KDE right here. Uh, as you can see, it has like a, a little menu here, like, like a start menu like Windows has. You know, it has your folders here and your desktop and, and uh, widgets, stuff like that. Uh, it's very easy to install. There's three command lines and you're done. Uh, so what you want to do is, if you're in Ubuntu, you want to open Terminal. I'm in Ubuntu 12.10 right now. And basically, all you have to do is copy and paste these right into your terminal, like so. Pop in your password, and what this is this is adding the repository for Kubuntu into your uh, APT, and then you're going to copy the second line after that one's gone through. Go ahead and paste that, and it's going to update the repository and after that's updated you can click on the set the third line here and it should take a few more seconds it's almost done okay and you can pop in the third line here and this here is going to install the Kubuntu desktop uh, since I already installed this, I don't have to. I'm gonna skip this step right here. And when this is done installing, it's gonna take about five or ten minutes. Uh, depending on your internet connection, you can go ahead and hit log off. I mean, sorry, reboot your computer. I'm gonna log off. I already installed. Uh, after you reboot, you're gonna to come to the Kubuntu login screen. All right, and there is your login screen right there. So what you're gonna do is before you log in, if you log in right now, it's gonna go right back to Ubuntu, which is a genome interface. What you want to do is you want to select KDE Plasma works, Workspace. After you do that, pop in your information. The first login might take a few seconds because um, you got to prepare your desktop and stuff like that. But it's not as bad as like Windows would be if you had like a new user or stuff like that. It's pretty quick. Uh, and there you have it. There is your desktop. It's pretty plain right now, but it has a start menu you can type in which applications you want it's very organized so if you select the windows this would be really nice uh, it has your brightness widgets let me log in here real quick okay um, it has your brightness widget so like you can you know, it has like pop up stuff like that um, the volume buttons um, you got Dropbox right here. I already had a Dropbox installed, but it has Dropbox if you had it installed before. So it's pretty nice. It's it's really close to Windows as you can get for for Linux. Um, you can add widgets to the home screen. Um, you can add like you can actually get more. There's a store. There's like battery bars. There's CPU information, memory information, um, social media. You name it, it has it. So there's a lot of cool stuff on here. So that's it. This is uh, KDE 4.9 installed in Ubuntu. If you ever want to go back to Ubuntu, all you got to do is log out and hit the little icon when you logged in the first time. Okay, so they have um, got a Cairo doc, don't need that. Okay, so you have Genome, Genome Classic, KDE, and you have a few other ones too, Ubuntu 2D. But Ubuntu default, that's gonna default would be like just like it was with Ubuntu. So you hit that and you log back in, you're back in Ubuntu just like you were. No KDE. But you can switch them around. And they all they all have their own um, memory pretty much. Like say you have widgets on KDE, uh, they won't transfer over to Ubuntu, but you can switch back and forth and your settings will be the same. It won't reset your stuff. So it's pretty sweet. So that's it guys. That's how to install KDE on Ubuntu twelve ten. I uh, hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it. Post it around. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Subscribe. Uh, if you need any help, feel free to post on the forums. I'm more than happy to help you. Thank you for watching.